Right, I'm at Todd's and it looks like they've actually got some vans in here now and uh, a few used vans over there and some new ones over here so this is the new Auto Trail Adventure 55 with popped off roof with a pop top roof Yeah, so 58,000. Very nice colour. 140 brake horsepower engine. Got refillable tanks. Also, the wastewater and freshwater drains are under there. Got the area on top there. Yeah. Let's have a look in the back. Telly, sort of traditional rear sofa layout for a van. A couple of cupboards either side, TV. It's quite nice in there. Fiat alloys. And there are 16 inch alloys as well, which is always good. Let's have a look inside. There's the control panel. I think they've got whale heated in there. Controls look completely unfamiliar. Sink with a pop-up tap. Two burner hob. Looks like it comes with a combination oven grill. Very comfy looking seats. Oh, nicely sculpted. Got this uh, nice new screen which I haven't had a chance to have a look at yet. There's no real storage at the front but you have got little pockets at the side. A little map pocket there. Got these pull-up blinds. Oh, look. oh these ones here. They're quite neat. And the same at the front. Sorry. Mind the, yeah, mind the step, mind the ladder. Let's have a look inside. Put a light on it. The zip at the front. Those are the straps to hold it down. Yeah, looks all right. Especially if you don't want to make up the seats at the back. Here's your wash room. Drop down sink. Doubles for the sink as well. It's actually got a tap there, a little tap on the top of it as well. Shower curtain to keep it off the wood. Some shelving below. Got that real nice new van smell. A little something to hang your clothes, and your towel. Yeah, not bad. I've got in the way of drawers here. Quite a deep cutlery drawer. Not sure, I suppose it needs to be deep for the sink, doesn't it? A cupboard there. And here. A 
another one underneath there. I don't think that's an automatic energy selection fridge, but I might be wrong. There's the fridge. About hanging space. And tables in there as well. There's your hanging rail. It's a little bit narrow going through that bit. It's not too bad once you get out into here. It's the seats. Avtex TV. Power for it up there. Looks like I've got a satellite point there as well. Oh no, that's your aerial point. Beg your pardon. That's just your aerial. The lights. Cupboards have got the catches under there. Your solar controller. Reasonable amount of headroom as well. The seats like. Not bad, not bad. Very good. Obviously the front seat swivel. And that's must be a cover. Yeah, you can put a cover over there when you're not using it. Mm. Yeah, quite nice. Those are all, yeah, those are the lights. Yeah. It's on charge there. So. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, got an electric step. Awning. Awning there. That's got an LED strip of lights running along there to light up your awning. Fifty-five. Well, here's something you don't see very often. This is a home car. Don't know too much about them, but it's on a Renault. It's Twenty-eight thousand five hundred. It's just been having a clean. It was 08 registration. Yeah, 08. And there's provision for a bike rack on the back. And awning. And light, and there's your toilet. Gas locker. Let's have a look, because this is different, isn't it? Alright. Okay, so on a Renault. Cap seats are quite uh, sculpted. Quite sporty looking. A Renault Master, I think. A little bit of space up top to put maps and things. Three cupboards. A traditional sort of travel seat dinette arrangement. Table looks like it drops down to make up another bed. Deep cupboards. That's obviously where your big old telly used to go. Map pocket here. And there's your controls. With your Truma controls. And a board controller. Board control 723. Oh. Grab handle to get in. A 
little bit loose there, so I've got to be careful there. Yeah, that hinge is broken. Just got to watch that. That's just a loose board there, isn't it? There's your big old sink. Halogen lights. I'll change those out for LEDs. Great big old microwave. Look at that. Wow. Oh, is it not a microwave? <laughs> it's an oven, isn't it? Of course it is. Looks like a microwave. A fairly big Thetford fridge. And a French bed. Like a little pocket down there. Curtains to seal off the bed. And assume you've got your hanging space here. Nice big locker there. Look in the wash room. Oh, that's quite deep, isn't it? A little TARDIS, this isn't it? Ladder. How oh, short the ladder's for? What did you use? <laughs> What's, is that a ladder? No, it looks like a ladder. It's not, is it? It's for hanging your towels. Sink. Mirror. Cupboard in there somewhere. Yep. Very strange shade of what is that, yellow or green? It's not different. That colour would be an acquired taste, but uh, a nice deep shower, big shower. A screen that goes across it, so no towel, no uh, shower curtain here. Thetford toilet, not a cupboard under here. That's alright, isn't it? Loads of cupboards. Cupboards at the back. A little skylight here, a little hecky. Drawers in here. There's your cutlery drawer. Plenty of cupboard space in the kitchen. That's great. That's all right. Got PowerPoint over there. I think it'd make a nice little uh, van for someone. This. It's a manual, isn't it? Six-speed. I can't see. Yeah, six-speed manual. Yeah, it's a nice little van there. Let's have a look around the outside. DCI 120. So that's your water point. There's your fridge vents. Even a little garage under there. Spare wheel taking up the space, but it's all right. Yeah. Very nice. There's still a lot of vans they've sold, they sold over here, there's a new Rio sold. Quite a few of those are sold. It looks like they've got some, they've either been sold or awaiting some work. Someone's converted a, a van here, 21,995 on a 1-2 plate, a 2012 Peugeot Boxer. I don't know who's, what make this is. It's a self-conversion. Mm. What's 
just a fixed roof by the looks of it. Electric at the back. A couple of drain points. This must be a six metre van. Yeah, it must be about six metres. So you could use this as an everyday transport. Nice cloth seats. Plenty of wear in the tyres yet. Let's have a look inside. Travel seat there. Don't know if it's, if it's got the seat belt there. Let's have a look. Be the only trouble for it, obviously, you need to bend down to get in. But I suppose once you're in, you're going to be sitting down. There's your box of cab with the locker underneath, always handy. Quite a nice size sofa and travel seat. And we got sink, two burner hob, sergeant control panel. And it looks like a little compressor fridge. That's okay. Oh, see, I'm here, bang my head again. A fair bit of space in there. I suppose you can make that hanging space. I'm not sure. This looks like an empty locker at the moment. What have we got here? Oh, it's got a toilet. That's all right. No shower by the looks of it, but oh, I assume you could always add one actually make this area a bit a bit bigger and make it into a shower but I suppose you won't be able to stand up in it. Got a shelf there. <laughs> it is a bit I suppose you get used to it. I'll just sit down. It's alright. Alright once you're sitting down. Now I think if you just wanted a vehicle that you could use for everything. This would be pretty good. Yeah, I've got no awning on it. It doesn't matter. You could certainly add to it. You could always put a pop top on there. Yeah. I've got a little auto sleeper clubman here for 8995. So 1998 Clubman GL. These things seem to have been around for absolutely ages. Put a light on it. That's cosy in there, isn't it? There's your water. And you've got these. Doors. Now the thing about these Clubmans is that they are a GRP all fiberglass body and it's one piece I seem to remember so you shouldn't have problems with water ingress. You're going to need a step to get in there. I put a bumper on the back there. Looks like there's provision for a bike rack. Even got a ladder up to the top got some steadies on the back. You don't see that very often these days. Wind down steadies. That's the washroom. I think that's probably the toilet cassette there. Got gas locker there. It looks like the old carver uh, outlet there. I'm not sure what heating they've got in here. Stick on the floor. Fancy wood dashboard. Got wind deflectors. Let's have a look inside. Oop. It's quite tall in here. Give me a headroom. Good long sofas. A carver heater there. I don't know if that's still working because you can't get the parts for them now, I'm told. Can't recognise that fridge, that's the one we used to have in the Vista. 
It's a three-way fridge. You've got your uh, all to sleep at wine cupboard. Yeah. Minus the glasses at the moment. That looks like your control panel. All to sleep with panel. At the back, this will be your kitchen. Sink. So that's a yeah, I can't do it one, two hat. Can I do this? Oh yeah, there we go. That's your twin burner cooker. I'm going to put it down now. Space under there. Big locker there. Another locker there. Huh. Think that must be your oven there. Is that your oven? Oh yeah. It's your grill and oven. <laughs> wow. Not difficult to do one-handed. Got a washroom. Reasonable showering area, drop down sink, and there's your shower point. I recognise the old uh, push button flush, sink, and ventilation. Got a whole mirror there. Doors a little bit sticky, we'll let it off. There's your hanging space and your RCDs. <laughs> like the lights. This is a real classic. You've got somewhere to put your table. Looks like there's more lockers underneath there. I presume these two pull together for the bed. Nice sliding window. This is a real classic. Two lockers there. And a big locker at the front. Well that's good. Look at the size of that. Brilliant. Someone's added some 12 volt power points there. It's obviously got a uh, radio with the fascia's been removed. A bit of space there, presumably that can put your tables and things there. Oh yeah. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, so if you want a real classic So we've got a used Auto Trail Tracker T615 67 registration 43995. Just three years old. Bike rack. Rear view camera. So a toilet cassette and your gas, your rain point down there, electric big windows, usual Fiat cab that we're all familiar with, and that's on a 2.3 multi-jet 130. Obviously got this is a new style front on it. Let's have a look inside. Provision for your umbrella. Your bin. Pull out step. 
There is quite a way into these vans. Wow, you've got a huge sofa here. Look at that. You can sleep on that quite easily. It's enormous. Lockers at the front. Good old water trail. Yeah, you can put all your bedding in there. Brilliant. Excellent. Lockers all the way along. There's your sergeant control. Fully lock it up. Absolutely tons of headroom. TV point. There's your trim ultra heat. TV point and bracket. That's your trim ultra heat fire. Another TV point over there. So you've got a choice where you put your TVs. A three way fridge, Dometic three way fridge, the Deu microwave, and then nice big, nice big locker. There's your washroom. Set for toilet, good size sink. You've got a locker up here, have you? Yeah, locker here, mirror, and a good size shower in there. And it's good. It goes down a bit as well, so. That's alright, that's good. Yeah, like that. Got the white cooker, we've got combi type oven, it's a triplex. Okay, so three burner hob. Got your pop up. You get that to pop out, you pull it up. Plugs. Great big square sink. Cutlery drawer. Loads of locker space there. There's your control panel. Feels very spacious in here. I think this is round about seven meters. I don't think it's it's too long. I haven't got any specs on these, so I'm sort of guessing. But it feels bigger than it actually is. Well, I suppose yeah, probably about six and a half. And that's your under seat locker. Got a battery box in there, I think it's got another battery box there, so you must have added two batteries. 